Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So today I wanted to spend a little bit of time working on a video I've been talking about forever and that is a video dedicated to all of the smaller mods I use throughout all of my Terraria adventures. I noticed that with every influx of new subscribers, a lot of people will comment about some of the smaller mods we're using in this series. They're a little bit confused, they're not really sure what they are. So I made a compilation of nine really awesome mods, which I think everybody should be using at this point if you're doing a modded adventure. And I give my reasonings for each and every one, so if one sounds great for you, go and check it out. And if it isn't your thing, you can leave it behind, but I feel like with this list, you'll have a pretty awesome Terraria adventure if you go for that modded route. So let's begin. Starting off the list is yet another boss health bar. You have seen this in every series that I've ever done. It adds a health bar to the bottom of the game. I find it very useful personally, and it's something I'll opt with even if I'm playing the Calamity mod, which now has its own boss health bar. I think it looks amazing, and it's obviously good enough because it's actually coming in Terraria 1.4, which is kind of cool. So, if you're not playing 1.4, if you're watching this when this comes out, I would recommend this mod. It's really good. It helps me a lot. The next one is Where's My Item? So, this is for people that are playing with normal chests in Terraria. And let's say, for example, you stick a herb in chest number one and you want to know where that is. You can set a macro on your keyboard and it will open up a little text box. You search for the item you want and bam, it tells you exactly what chest it's in. Weapons Out is a fantastic mod. I absolutely love this. So if you've ever been watching one of my series and my character has its sword out even though it's not swinging, it's because of the Weapons Out mod. I've made a full video on Chippy Gaming about why I think this should be in Vanilla Terraria. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I would definitely recommend getting this one. I think it just makes the game look amazing. Vein Miner. I don't know why this is disabled. It shouldn't be. But Vein Miner is a mod that I really enjoy. It speeds up mining completely. Now, if I'm playing Vanilla Terraria, I do actually like mining quite a bit. But when I'm recording my Let's Plays, I know that it can be pretty hard to watch somebody mine for so long. So I install Vein Miner and then I like buzz through my world and it makes things a lot quicker. All you need to do with this one is set a macro. I set it to my mouse click and when you click on some ore, it just snaps it all up. It's fantastic. So if we scroll down the list, another one that I would recommend is a recipe browser. This is great if you're like me and you can't remember the recipe for everything in Terraria. You set a macro, it opens up, you put the item in and you can have a look at all the recipes surrounding it. You probably know this one because I use it probably more than any other mod in my entire Terraria history. And I really like it, it's very helpful. Next one is Magic Storage. This is great if you can't be bothered to uh, sort out all of your chests. You make a couple of these, you slap them down, and you can dump all of your items in and it will just keep them in one giant vault. You can search through that vault if you need a specific item and you can expand upon it and it will enable you to do a whole bunch of crafting without leaving the mod, and it's very useful. Boss Cursor is one that I've only recently started using, but I would say it's another one that could belong in vanilla Terraria. It's so useful, it adds a little cursor around the player that will point to where the boss is, and this means you can do a lot of boss fights without actually using the minimap, which looks a lot cleaner, especially when you're recording a Let's Play. It's one that I haven't been using for long, but I would recommend it completely. Next one is Boss Checklist. This is another one you've probably seen me use a whole bunch of times. You set a macro and it will tell you exactly what bosses you have killed in Terraria and what bosses you have yet to kill in Terraria. I think everyone should use this. Whether you know the bosses off by heart or not, I think it's very satisfying, very gratifying to actually go down this list and put a check mark next to each boss. Really cool mod and I would recommend it. And then last but not least is the Alchemist NPC Light Mod. Now, there is a little bit of backstory with this one. The Alchemist NPC Mod adds in a few different NPCs that will allow you to buy potions. Now, a lot of people, including myself, were not very keen on some of the other content that are added in with the mod. So, the mod creator added a light version, and this basically gives you all of the NPCs that sell you potions and then none of the extra stuff. So, if I was playing Terraria, I would recommend this mod over the full fat version. But you do have that version available to you if you need it. But I like this one. 
So that about sums up today's video. So if you ever see people asking about it in the future, maybe consider linking them this. If you enjoyed this guide, give it a big fat thumbs up. And why not leave me a comment down below about what your favorite smaller mod for Terraria is. And maybe we can share the knowledge. Thank you all for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.